Yeah. And I wanted to I wanted to bring up that because I brought up everything I bring up, I I like to clear it up through the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But uh then we can do our thing. But I mentioned it's gonna be on TV or whatever. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And I said it's in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I have to back up what I'm saying. <laughs> right? <laughs> prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Go to, uh, let's see, just like that uh, that little thing that we just broke down about Abraham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abraham know the law. He ain't about to kill his son. He out there teaching peace to everybody, and all of a sudden, he about to kill his boy. Yeah. <laughs> his oh, his boy. Go to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. 13, I'm sorry. It's the 20 verse 13. Just one of the commandments. See, people, when you read the scriptures, if you're thinking hatred, it's going to drive you to thinking carnal and hatred, right? You start thinking hatred. Mm -hmm. so, you start looking at things more evil. But read that right there. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Now, go to uh, Luke chapter 19, 27. They keep looking at the Bible, reading it literally, carnally and God said worship him in spirit and truth he said mm -hmm. again the spiritual interpretation they keep going carnal this mm -hmm. is what them caps do to them children Luke chapter 19 verse 27 but those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me uh oh, now the Bible just said, Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. So if you read it carnally, some mm -hmm. fool would actually do this. A Christ said, Kill him. So now that means that uh, there's a contradiction in the Bible. If he's right. saying the same, you yes. see that? Y'all see how quick those guys, but whenever they, whenever they uh, agenda is to hate, they're going to give you an excuse in order to break God's law. They said, well, it's, it's what, what's that thing? Was it John 16? That's the devil. Yeah, 16 and one. Mm -hmm. Go to it, devil. You the works your, your, your father, that one? No, uh, if you think, you think you're doing it for God. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to tell you a lie, right? Well, we're going to see it today. Mm-hmm. And then they, they get it. you to violate God's law, but you mm -hmm. following their law. See that? John chapter 16, verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you, that you that ye should not be offended. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Mm -hmm. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you hate you because hate is murder killing you it's, it, the ones that hate you they ain't gonna lay a thing on you right will think that he doeth god's service to that that's not god business you see that's that? not god business they're gonna get you to believe that if you hate your brother because we just went to the, the law of mm -hmm. uh, exodus 20 that 13 right? yep so now, if you go over here to Matthew chapter 5, all right, you're going to see what this talking about, all right? Because this often time they'll go, um, we're going to start right here at verse 19. Mm -hmm. It says, whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so. Mm -hmm. So now, like we just read, they said, well, you know, it's, it, they, they basically saying it's all right to kill. Kill mm -hmm. me hate, and we get getting ready to get it right here in Matthew 5, right? He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He ain't getting the kingdom. Mm 
Mm-mm. But whosoever shall do and teach them, and sh the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So we mm -hmm. teaching the people what it really means spiritually. Because yes. mm -hmm. he about to tell you what this kill means. For well, I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. When he talking about them scribes and Pharisees, he talking about them corner preachers. Yes. Regardless of whatever denomination or religion or whatever, if they teach in carnally, he's saying your righteousness got to exceed them, meaning you got to have the spiritual. You All got right? you got to wait the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. He's telling you, you're not getting the kingdom of heaven if you're teaching that kind of foolishness. All right. You won't get the spiritual interpretation either. Mm -mm. So now here it is where he makes you understand what that kill means. Ye have this verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not kill and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment we just read it mm -hmm. in exodus uh 20 mm -hmm. right 13. thou shalt not kill all mm -hmm. right now look at here verse 22 but i say unto you that means this is my interpretation now he giving you a new understanding what thou should not kill me. This is Christ's definition of kill. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. That whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause mm -hmm. shall be in danger of the judgment. Mm -hmm. Now we had a guy who left a comment on our uh, comment section. And this man was very, very torn up because he's hearing what we're saying, right? And I think Elder, um, he uh, he said something. Did he say something about his, his something happened to his son or his wife or something? Yeah. Like he, well, he, he what he was saying is that if someone take the your wife, rape her, rape your daughter, and uh, molest your son. Um, you know, those people shouldn't be judged. Oh, meaning don't not correct it and this and that and blah blah. He, you know, he was telling a whole lot of things and and uh. <laughs> but if somebody rapes your wife, mm -hmm. or kills your daughter, or does rape something, your daughter. yeah, does something to you to your son. Wouldn't that be a cause for you to be angry with them? Absolutely. Now that's 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 the distinction that's not being made here. Yes, right. that's the distinction. He said, let me read it again, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Here's the problem, right? Over time, people have become accustomed to being the judge, jury, and executioner of people. And that ain't man's job. Mm -hmm. That ain't man's job. That's most high job. He's the one who ultimately is going to judge. Now, he said, he said, be patient. He said, vengeance is his. He the one who's going to do all the judging. All right. But these men, they go and they start teaching these people that it's okay to hate your brother just like we read in john 16 you gonna think you're doing it for god well it's righteous to kill anybody because of this this that and other okay so what if somebody from your particular race right does something and then all the people of this other race say i'm gonna judge every last one of y'all because of what this knucklehead did, right? So now here these people up in here doing the same thing that you're saying because you hate a particular people because they put a particular people into slavery. 
Now we just proved a few videos back that every nation to include white people yes. went into slavery. Every last one of them. They're in history Ooh. books. It's just a lot of a lot of white folk might be embarrassed about it, <laughs> but it's gonna be resurfaced. It's gonna be resurfaced because once they start attacking those camps, they're coming. I'm telling you, they're coming. And they're gonna start attacking those camps right back at you. That bliss is gonna be a reversal very soon. It is kindling right now. It's so, coming. Mm -hmm. But it says, whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. If you hate somebody by nothing other than the color of their skin, you're going to get the judgment. All right? That's what Christ is trying to tell you. Kill mean hate now. That's what he's explaining to you. The new understanding that he left us about what kill means because mm -hmm. he uses this word right there yeah that I, word is angry yes that means hate yes we want the brother to get the kingdom we and i and i'm praying for him and i um, pray for the brother too and he said that um now his son didn't get um uh, it didn't happen to his son but his family was missing and uh but anyway uh that whole race of people is not um should be punished for it's uh something hey, that they, that person did they're just like uh our forefathers you know and they a lot of people don't really understand but every prophet that the most high sent to the israelites they killed them yes so you mean to tell me we're gonna suffer for what they did personally wouldn't it be better for us to turn it around and start actually following Christ and doing what he's saying? Because mm -hmm. see, that's the scripture, the scripture that get mixed up with that Isaiah uh, 14 and 21. He said that fathers, you're going to pay for what your fathers did. But see, spiritually, whoever you follow is your father. So right. if you turn it around and start following Christ, mm -hmm. that's the father. And see, yes. that's what they don't understand. Right. Not your carnal father. No. Right. That one that you've been, that one that been feeding you spiritual food. Correct. Chapter 8, verse 11. That spiritual seed. You follow him. Your carnal father ain't gotten, you don't have nothing to do with him about his wrongdoing. If right. they start following Christ, ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Hey, hey Elder, can we get uh, Ephesians 4.26? About being angry, because you said angry without a cause, right? Mm -hmm. But what did God say to do with that anger? Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Mm -hmm. Be ye angry and sin not. Hold on. Go back to 25. There's a reason why he said to do that. You got to see what he's talking about. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying. So he, Paul was going into the reason why God created righteousness and the spiritual laws to do what? Put away, Wherefore, put away lying. Put well, away lying. Mm -hmm. Right, read. Speak every man truth with his neighbor the truth so you're supposed to be speaking the spiritual law with your neighbor but we are members one of another so now if a man is lying to you and is not telling you the truth what are you naturally going to be angry. angry so this is what the lord said next verse be angry be, be ye angry uh-huh and sin not do not sin do not hate your brother let not the sun go down upon your wrath don't let hatred consume you because you have the understanding of love thy neighbor as you love thyself you know that 
Yeah, he said you're going to be angry. This dude lying to you. You're going to be angry. But sin not. Ecclesiastes 7 11 is for that son. Yeah. It ain't yeah. talking now, about, it ain't talking about you specifically saying, well, you know, it's almost evening time. I got to go on ahead. It ain't what it's talking about. No, 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 no. He's saying, don't be ignorant. Yes. By being angry. That's what he's right. saying. Son means wisdom. Okay. Don't wisdom. let your son go down. Don't, don't let your understanding idiot. leave you. Right. You got all this understanding. Yes. Now you're going to sin. Right. And you're going you gonna to lose that understanding by sinning. Right. right. Go on. You know hating, better. Hating thy brother. Yeah. Correct. You know better because you got right. the understanding. You right. cannot take it out on, um, you can't take something out. Someone do something to you. You can't take it out on a whole race of people. That's no. that people, that person who done that. Yes. You know, that's and, that person. Yes. yes. That person, all people, not all of the people, all of the people was not part of that. Not all of them. Right. Like uh, and, a lot of Israelite wasn't part of killing Christ. Right. Did that? Next, next, next verse. Verse 27, neither give place to the devil. So the devil is going to automatically tell you to go against God and to not love thy brother. Yes, that's a man now. Yeah, the no devil is a man. It's a, it's, no, it's a deceiver. So <laughs> this person is going to tell you to give place to him. That means you're going to... <laughs> You're going to do the opposite of what God said. God said, love thy brother. Even though he wronged you and you mm -hmm. angry, don't retaliate. Let mm -hmm. God deal with it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. When that man come up there and say, it's righteous for you to hate. And then he go and he starts showing you a bunch of pictures. Say, look at what they did to us. Mm -hmm. You see that right there? Da, da, da. Now, none of these people who live in the day did. Never I'm mind. That. Never mind. Uh, you actually living probably better than the majority of people on the planet. No, yes. everybody ain't, it ain't a chicken in every pot and a dog on Cadillac in every garage, no. But if you compare the way that people who live in America live, primarily I'm talking about black people, primarily they have the basics. There's a lot of countries where People don't even have the basics. They that don't be. exist here. Okay, that poverty. Because if it if it if it actually existed, if somebody dies from starvation, that's gonna make the head of the news. Trust me. What in the world going on? Why yeah. every time you see like one of them women, they get up in there, all of their kids they love, but they got that one they don't like, and then they end up starving. It's gonna and be a problem. If that thing makes the news, it's going to make nationwide news because it's too much food available here. Ain't nobody here starving. Nobody. They don't have Everybody to. Everybody gets a certain amount, regardless of whether they even got a job or not. You're going to be able to eat. All right. So people go and they try and get you to, to well, you know, if they have went on ahead and made the school, you know, a little different, maybe I would have liked school. Man, you you didn't take it seriously, and you ended up failing out or whatever it is you do. That ain't nobody's fault but your fault, because you didn't want to learn. You can't blame that on everybody else. Man, you got so many of these dedicated teachers that's trying everything they can to educate these underprivileged kids but they ain't got no support from the parents the kid getting the contact hit every time he drive up to the school they standing up there trying to meet the kids whenever they're getting out the car and all you can smell is marijuana coming out the car yes. okay so don't it's easy to go and blame everybody else mm -hmm. right and i'm not saying this with a broad brush that everybody in our community is like that that's not what i'm saying what I'm saying is a lot of the challenges that we have as a people is because we don't care and we won't change to do stuff to make it better for that next generation. All right. Don't blame yeah. everything on the white man. 
No, you okay. can't black. No, you can't do no. that. No, you the prophet's can't. gonna prophet's the prophet's gonna get the worst punishment. Yes, <laughs> they're gonna get the worst punishment. But uh, I wanna I wanna um break down another. Uh, I, I was gonna finish that one out. Oh, go ahead, El. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. It says neither give place to the devil. Right. So, and like we said before, anybody that's teaching you to hate. Right, mm -hmm. it's teaching you to go against the law of God because Christ left you, love thy neighbor as I love thyself. Mm -hmm. So if you attack your brother, you don't only hate your brother, you also hate yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. Right. Next verse. Verse twenty-eight. Let him that stole steal no more. Uh huh. But rather let him labor, working with his hands. What's hands? Doctrine. Okay. He talking about a pre. He talking about a prophet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't steal no more doctrine, brother. Right. Work with your hands. Right? So guess what? Here's an example of what he's talking about. Right. So you take a doctrine of let's say Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. You take a doctrine of, oh, uh, let's say somebody's chauvinist and you mix it with the Bible and say, see, this is why God is trying to tell you men to be. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. what he's talking what's about. That, what's that guy's name, man, that died? Um, Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin Sanders. Sanders. That's Sanders. Him. Yes. That's him. That's just a prime example of what he's talking about. I know everybody, when that man died, oh, Lord, it was almost like Christ died or something. Mm -hmm. They was come anybody who had any critique of that man, oh, they sent out the, the henchmen to, to try and shout him down and all that other stuff, right? But they defending a man who was hating on his brother. Your brother is your sister, too. Okay, right. the most high he just used a masculine word to describe man. But when that man died, here this man is, he got caught in a whole lot of unrighteousness. And I'm not gonna dredge up the man's past and all that other stuff. That's not we, what we're here for. But don't come and lionize the man like he was over righteous and all that other stuff when the most high judged that man. The most high did that because he saw the prophets that's claiming to have his name holding this man up and that man was nowhere near the bible right y'all speaking like this man is actually god speaking himself to, in order to hurt your sister and most i moved him out the way right y'all can like it not like it but that's what he did okay so that's what he talking about here but go ahead Elder. so yeah let him steal no more but rather him let, let him labor mm -hmm. you can look at it carnally and spiritually because mm -hmm. if you were in these churches and you robbing the people, God said you need to go to work, get a job. Yes. Stop robbing the people. Get two, get three if you have to, but take care of yourself. Right. Take stop care getting yourself. your wife. Take stop getting your wife to take care of you. Get a right. job, you sorry. Get a job. Bro. Get a job. <laughs> Working with his hand, that thing is good. You know what's something that is good that could be in your hand? Telling a brother not to steal. Yes. But you got to live that example. Right. So if you're not living that example, you can't teach nobody not to steal if you're stealing from the people. You can't do that. You're a hypocrite. Right. So you got to teach that thing which is good, which is spiritual doctrine, which is, guess what? Love thy brother as I love myself. So me walking out and saying, I see something, a brother out there doing something crazy, and I love that brother, I say, hey, man, don't do it. Do I need to go to Bible chapter and verse to tell somebody not to go do something stupid that could potentially get him hurt? Why? I lived it. Because there's no sin uncommon to man. Mm -hmm. So somebody with that experience, young man, you're going down the young road, the wrong yeah. road. That's loving my neighbor as I love myself. And also I'm giving a good doctrine because I'm trying to warn that brother. Mm -hmm. That's just common sense. Do I have to go to Bible and scripture to tell somebody that? No, you no. just do that. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit that God gave you. Mm -hmm. But you ignore it. See, God gave you a conscience. I was talking about this the other day. God gave you a conscience. Because before you're about to do something stupid, you think in your head, maybe I shouldn't do it. While you're doing it, mm -hmm. 
you still have that thought in your head. Got spirit still dealing with you, man. You shouldn't be doing it. And mm-hmm. when you're done, guess what? You feel guilty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that spirit work, working in you. That brother, you know you sin. Mm-hmm. But see, we we ignore all of that stuff, and we don't want to teach that and tell a brother stop doing that stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. We say only the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans can do that. So imagine if you walk to a a, 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 a Caucasian man that was just about to kill himself, and you walked up to that brother and said, "Hey, man, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Your life is worth more on this earth." Mm-hmm. And that man came off that ledge. You don't know who that man been. He could have been a multi-millionaire. Could have helped you out because you saved his life. Mm-hmm. You pushed a good word for it. But mm-hmm. you say, no, nah, let him jump. Because he the white man. That's mm-hmm. what you teaching over there. And them carnal Hebrew Israelite camps. Yes, that's what you're teaching. You're teaching hate, brother. That man is still your brother. He sent you to do a job. The most High sent you to do a job. It was an honorable thing to do it. Mm-hmm. And you stole his flock. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. If mm-hmm. you told a brother, thou should not kill, brother. Mm-hmm. You teaching that you did what God told you to do and teach peace on this earth. Mm-hmm. We would not be going through nuclear war right now. No, we wouldn't. Right. But we what would. we did, we got stubborn. Just like the Bible said we're going to do. Only the blacks spent. Now we arguing about who the Jew. Is it, is, is, it, is, it, is it the people in Israel or is it the black man? Is it the people on ships? And then we show other people went on ships. Uh, 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 uh. Right. But it was the Israelites that did it. That's it sure is. So the mo- so the most high doubled the punishment on us that what we did to somebody else. Because we right. knew better. This is out of your own historical books. Mm-hmm. Verse 29, please. Verse 29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. No corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Why? The priest's lips should keep knowledge Mm -hmm. and the law, the law out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. If you're not speaking anything but this Bible, you're, you're teaching a lie. You're not a priest. Stop lying to these people. We gonna bring it out today. Yes. Caught you dead. The right line right after we talked to class, and we're gonna point out every error you said. You think you can slit? You slide a hand. We're not simple over here. Mm-mm. And you brothers that sit out on the side and thinking that you you trying to get a name by trying to ride on somebody else's coattail and be funny. Guess what? God gonna deal with you too. Cause you're wicked. Mm-hmm. You need to repent. It's running out. T- time is running. We we so close. We know the parable of the fig tree. We see it. <laughs> we see it. And yeah, go ahead. Can you talk about keep reading, Elder. Mm-hmm. But that which is good to the use of edifying, mm-hmm. that it may minister grace unto the hearers. What is the grace I'm going to give him to love his brother? Yes. Mm-hmm. The grace I'm gonna give you, hey man, stop. Love your brother. Don't go do that. Don't do nothing stupid. Mm-hmm. I overheard you about to rob that store, bro. Don't do that. Cause thou shalt not steal. Yes. Thou shalt not kill. Yes. Can I add, an, uh, can I add yes. something? Yes, sir. First Peter 4 11. Yes. Isn't it amazing that Christ talked peace all the time? That's what he taught. And people talk about they following Christ. That's what he taught all the time was peace. All the time. The rest of the pro- the prophets taught peace, but it's written a certain way. And I'd just like to give a couple of examples in a little while because they don't know how to wait a fire. And that's the problem that they got. They lost the spirit's interpretation. The and star what you just, what you just said is the reason why we got to make these uh do this little house cleaning here because some people don't like the fact that melchizedek is peace that's it right he's he the teaching king of, peace the king of salem salem mean peace so you know right. if he's the king you know what his followers gonna do peace yes. his children gonna teach peace right and them people in them israelite camps 
they ain't teaching peace right now. We under the order of Melchizedek. Absolutely. For, that's for peace. Ever. Forever. That's that's forever. Now y'all can hear it or y'all can forbear it. Yeah. But we just went and told you what the most what, what Christ said kill mean. That mean hate. Hate the opposite of peace. Y'all see that. So whenever the time comes for that judgment, and then all them people start getting scalded up. Remember, you chose hate over peace. That's right. Yeah. Let me read this here. First Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. That it's right true. there. That right there. As the oracles of God. Meaning his speech. Right. His speech, his spiritual interpretation. Yes. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified. Not Ooh. your bishops, not your bishops, not that old person in you, nobody else but God. Through Jesus Christ, yes, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever, amen. You see how he stretched that? That's the one dominion forever and ever. Everybody else, they don't have a dominion forever and ever. Before he we go back, it. before we go back to Galatians, let's clear something up because I know some of y'all are gonna try to jump on what Elder has said earlier. Let's go to Matthew 10 32. Because I know this is where y'all going to go. So guess what? Most I on it today. Matthew 10, 32. It's about what you said about Christ, not uh, Christ's peace. Christ was teaching peace. So this is what we're going to talk about right now. I know what y'all going to say. Oh, Christ said that, but Christ said this. Yeah. Matthew 10, 33. Start at 33, yep. Yeah. Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. Mm -hmm. For whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Which is in the spiritual. Heaven is spiritual. Read. Next yes. verse. Verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. What is the, the earth? The earth. God knows. That's the carnal, yes, the carnal go. interpretation. Read. I came not to send peace, but, but what? a sword. What is the sword? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, there you go, Ed. Why it's a doctrine. Don't doctrine. worry. Them precepts going to be at the bottom. Yes. I don't see it. <laughs> Trust so me. So this this is what happens with the sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next verse. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. So go to Proverbs 1 and 8. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we can show you what the father and the mother is. Mm -hmm. What's it, prophet? I said that's the one where the father is the teacher and yes, the mother is the law. Yep. Yep. We gonna, let's see, unlike these other people out there. Yes. We like to show the, the words on the screen because you can't catch us lying because the words are right there. Right. They, they, they like to read and like to hide little words around because they don't have, they don't put the words on the screen. So what they do is they say, we're going to get, let me show you early the trickology which they use later. But this is what uh, God said about your father and your mother. Read that, and, Elder, please. And, and also, thank God that y'all able to see a woman ain't stupid. Right. Okay. That woman know what she talking about. She understand the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. And she understand it better than a lot of them foolish men sitting up in there calling all these women stupid. Y'all right. seeing it right now. They, oh, Those they're going to find out. Liars. That woman going to surpass this man. I'm telling you, straight up. That woman going to surpass this man. That that man, that carnal man, they're going to say, get out of the way. I got to get my salvation. Those bombs gonna come. It's in the scriptures. 
Y'all can act crazy all you want, but they're coming. They're coming. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. My son, hear the instruction of thy father. We're talking about the Bible. So your father's the one that's teaching you the law. Read. And forsake not the law of thy mother. As we got in uh, Sirach 15 and 1, the law is the word of God. The mother is the word of God. Mm -hmm. All right, go back to... Um, what is it, Matthew? Mm -hmm. Right there. Matthew chapter 10, verse 35. For I am come to set man at variance against his father. Father. So you know how that happens? You keep getting questions mm -hmm. that you can't answer. Mm -hmm. You're getting questions about the spiritual law of which you can't answer because it goes against your doctrine. Mm -hmm. That's the variance you're getting right now. Read. It's catching up. And the daughter against her mother. So now your doctrine, mm -hmm. that little young doctrine that you're starting to get, is starting mm -hmm. to get crushed by the law. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Because you're starting to see those young doctrines that you keep making up is getting crushed by the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Read. And the daughter-in-law against her mother. It's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And a man's foes <laughs> shall be they of his own household. Why? Because you keep getting asked questions of the yes, Bible. Yes. And they yes, call right. you liars. And they see it. Yeah, yes. they see it. They start to see it. It's going to be foes of your own doctrine. Yes. Because they're starting to see your doctrine fall apart. And they're asking you questions. That's the yes. variance. Read. Yes. Next one. Verse 37. He that loveth father or mother. If you love that doctrine that you grew up in, that's not spiritual, that's carnal. Mm -hmm. And that man that taught you. Right. Mm -hmm. More than me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. And he that loveth son or daughter. That young that that young prophet and that doctrine he got more than me is not worthy of me. You got gonna get no understanding because mm -hmm. they're gonna teach you carnally. Mm -hmm. Next, and he that taketh not his cross mm -hmm. and followeth after me is not worthy of who he, who taketh up his own doctrine. Mm -hmm. And follow that, and his doctrine follows Christ. Mm -hmm. That's his cross. Yes, his burden, the word and of God. Your, your burden is the word of God. So that's mm -hmm. the cross that you're taking up. Mm -hmm. You take that burden up, that, that doctrine you have, and start following Christ and start teaching Christ's doctrine. And if you don't do that, you're not worthy. That's right. When it's talking about that cross, and I know these people get caught up in, well, you know, you worship in the cross and all that. They don't know ah. what the cross talking about. Oh, my the God. The cross is a doggone symbol of death. Right. What's death? Okay. Death means to repent. That's what you doggone converted to, man. Right. Come on, man. Death. Yeah, but, but this is, you finished that, Elder, yeah, for a second. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go to uh, Sirach. I just want to get examples. Right. Of, uh, they don't know how to read the Bible, brother. Go to Sirach <laughs> chapter 4 and verse 4. I think it's 4. I think that's see. And 4, 5. Go to 5. We'll cut it short. Ecclesiasticus. I'm sorry. Sec, second Ezra is 4. I'm sorry. And 4. This one he's telling Ezra, wait me to 5. They don't know how to wait a fire. Second Ezra, in the Apocrypha, chapter 4, verse 4. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one, mm -hmm. I will show thee also the way mm -hmm. that thou desirest to see. What's the way? The, the doctrine. The okay. doctrine. 
Mm-hmm. So that means Ezra is asking the most high mm-hmm. for understanding. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so, hey, Elder, finish that out, then jump up to two. We're going to start at two then. Yeah, start at two. Because I, I, you That's know, all right. That's all it's right. sad, man, that these people playing around with people's lives and salvation in the mm-hmm. world by the end. That just means you care about them people. So you yes, want to give them the full understanding. Yes, we got to give it to us. Second Ezra in the Apocrypha, chapter 4, verse 2. And said, Thy heart. Stop. Hath- What's the heart? The mind. The, the mind. mind. Matthew 15, 19, Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Read. Thy heart hath gone too far in this world. It's gone carnal. That's what El uh Johanna had uh, brought up. It's carnal. It's he said it bringing a um sword upon the earth. Christ ain't talking about murdering the earth. That carnal right. understand it, he rejecting it. Read. And thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the most high? The doctrine of the most high? You t- you you all carnal. So when the, a lot of people, the viewers read the Bible, they can't know. He yeah. said, look at step up. I'm signing to this. I'm trying to tell you to come up here. Though. Read. Verse 3. Then said I. Ezra. Yea, my Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he answered me and said, I am sent to show the three ways. Three ways, three doctrines. Three. And to set forth three similitudes before thee. We know those doctrines. Oh, oh, wait. I heard a question (laughs) that a brother asked that is the whole Bible a similitude? (laughs) What do you think? we're gonna break it down for the elder. No, I want you to sit. I want you to sit there and let that sizzle in your spirit. Yeah, brother. Mm-hmm. Well, here bad shape. People, a lot of these people be on the slide trying to clown you when in fact by them opening up their mouth, they let you know immediately they're ignorant. All right. Like they said, it'd be better that to be thought of as ignorant than to open your mouth. And remove all doubt. No doubt. And, and, and I'm going. I'm going to. Sh- I'm going to tell them one more time. This world is about to end. Right. We right. don't have too much time. Right. Stop Man. playing around trying to get the women to take care of you. Stop right. trying to get the other confused them brothers to try to be your slave because you know more than them. Right. right. We know your doctrine. Right. It's trash. Right. That's the doctrine you're supposed to purge out, son. So we're right. gonna break it down for you. Give it examples. Way in the fire. Right. Okay. Verse next verse, uh, Elder. Verse four. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one. Now, the one that he won't is the one, the heaviest one. His spiritual interpretation. Read. I will show thee also the way that thou desirest to see. See that? His way. His doctrine. His doctrine. And I shall show thee from whence the wicked heart cometh. The wicked mind. That kind of understanding. He going to say, which one going to be greater? Which one is wicked? The carnal or the spiritual? Read the next verse. Verse 5. And I said, tell on, my Lord. Then said he unto me. Now this second, this Ezra, he's, he's being humble. He really wants to know. Read. Go thy way, your doctrine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Weigh me the weight of the fire. Find out which one are gonna be the worst, the, the most, the most uh detrimental. Which one gonna be the, the one gonna have more weight to it behind it? Read. Or measure me the blast of the wind the word or call me again the day that is past say find out <laughs> now now y'all notice something the way he talking now he talking spiritual 
Ezra's ain't got the first clue don't, what don't. this man saying. He don't. He don't know at all. He don't. Ezra's is a lot of y'all prophets. Yes. Whenever yeah. y'all first hear this spiritual understanding, y'all looking just like Ezra's. Ezra's sitting up there looking simple. He's sitting up in there saying, well, I don't know. I ain't nobody ever weighed fire. He just calm. He don't know what weigh me. He don't he know. He don't know that when he talking about the wind, Ephesians 4, 14. Mm -hmm. He don't know. He ain't even thinking in that capacity. He Nothing. heard of Ephesians 4, 14. 14 before, but he can't see it because he carnal. He don't know how to use the spiritual word to get his answer. And and the thing, he went through certain processes to do it. The most high used to tell him, fast. Mm -hmm. Meaning, not eat carnal food, man. Put some on your tummy. He's saying, purge out that carnal understanding. Separate it away from my doctrine. My doctrine is get the spiritual interpretation. That's what he's saying. You got to purge out the carnal interpretation. It's trash compared to God's words. His interpretation is spiritual. So we're going to give him an example. And uh, go to Exodus 20 and 13 again. Before you go, before mm -hmm. you go, listen, y'all. The difference between Ezra's and the next guy is Esdras is sincere. Mm -hmm. Them proud yes. dudes who sitting up in there, they ain't never gonna get it. They're not bang, he's not bang glory. He's not Esdras bang. is righteous. Yes. That's why the most high went on ahead and gave him the understanding. When we was over there in them corner camp, Samuel had to dug up his whole yard trying to doggone grow food for these foolish people and all that yes. other stuff. The most I say, man, ain't the kind of food I want you to grow. That's right. But being that he was sincere, yes. the most I went on ahead and gave him the understanding. Anything he want me to do, Come I'll on, do it. man. <laughs> Anything the most I want me to do, I'm going to do it. Anything. When he said go that way, I say, yes, sir. If y'all sincere, yeah, you say you he say you're wrong, Samuel, and I listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you sincere, you will get this understanding. Yeah. But all of y'all who got these little jokes that y'all telling, let's let, let's go ahead and fill up their comments with a bunch of foolishness and all that other stuff. Listen, brother, we ain't got time for that. This mm -hmm. that man just went and said he getting ready to get them missiles to Belarus. Yes. That mean around. it's going down. Oh, yes. that don't mean they got an alliance. The man, if you spent that much money to build one of them expensive bombs, it's going. Would you go give it to your neighbor? Right. No, well, you ain't doing that. Right. What if my neighbor get mad at me and then he want to use the thing that I gave him on me? Who going to do that? Mm -hmm. Unless you know we at the end. Y'all can play games all y'all want. Yes. Most high telling you what's going down. All y'all got to do is look. Everybody up there trying to see who who them Kardashian girls <laughs> land with. You know, Sierra, she came to the she came to the Oscars. She had on a dress, ain't had. I mean, everybody could see everything under the dress. Yeah, y'all talking about all that stuff right there. This man just gave, he's saying he gonna give nuclear missiles to Belarus. That's right. And y'all playing games. And y'all playing games. We go to uh, where are you going to, El? Exodus 20 and verse 13. We're going to wait a fire on this, and it's so simple. <laughs> Y'all keep playing around, keep playing around. I don't play with, I don't play, I don't play. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Uh huh. Thou shalt not kill. Now, let's wait a fire on this. Go to Zechariah chapter 13 and 1. I think that's where it's at. Remember when I said earlier it's gonna be on TV? All this stuff, this doctrine gonna be on TV. He, I'm telling you. When that white man get this doctrine, he's gonna put it on TV. Read that right now. Zechariah 13, verse 1. In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David. What comes out of fountain? Water. Yeah. The house of David 
is the people who follow David. David was closing up the breaches, right? Mm -hmm. We're in the house of David. We're closing up the breaches. We ain't paying attention to them carnal knuckleheads. And, and, and for those guys who the Old Testament dudes and all that other stuff, listen. When it's talking about uh, the fountain going to come to David, it's talking about his doctrine going to come yes. back. David himself ain't coming back. Okay, no, no, no. His doctrine, doctrine, the people going to remember and understand the doctrine that David left us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. this doctrine is in the line of Jesus to Christ. Mm -hmm. The doctrine going to come back. That's all it's saying. That's so all it ain't saying, well, David is the Messiah and Christ ain't the Messiah. They got the same doctrine, brother. All right. Yes. It says, in that day shall a fountain be opened to the house of David mm -hmm. and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for, the doctrine. for mm -hmm. sin and for uncleanness. That doctrine coming back. It's back now. Yes. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 6. Read. Now we read in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13, right? Thou shalt not kill. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names, what's the name? Doctrine. The doctrines of the idols. Who are the idols? The, the teachers. That's the teachers. That's the yes. prophets. Out of the land. What's the land? Doctrine of Jerusalem. That's right. And they shall no more be remembered. Hey, did y'all see that? <laughs> so we're not even worried about them. Read. Right. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of oh, the oh, land. Yeah. Read on. Read that's on. It. That's it for them. That's it for them kind of prophets. He he telling telling you, bro, it's coming. He telling you. Read. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, <laughs> then his father. What's the father? Elder King Yohannes brought it up. That teacher. The teacher. Mm -hmm. Them people that's, that once was followed, these going to be righteous fathers right here. Read. And his mother that begat him see that who, shall been say teaching, who been teaching him read shall say unto him thou shalt not live stop now we just read in Exodus chapter 20 verse 13 said thou shalt not kill but right here say thou shalt not live that person gonna be converted you gonna kill they, they gonna kill the people when they put that on the TV it's going to be done all over the world because they know what's about to happen. When they get this doctrine, they're going to blast it on the TV, the radio station. They're going to make CDs, whatever thing they can to help their people. You see that? Yes, yes, yes. Read. For thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. See that? Yes. That doctrine. The name of the Lord. That doctrine. And, and his father and his mother that begat him shall thrust him through when he prophesied. They're going to take that javelin. The javelin is that word. Right. They're gonna, they ain't going to murder him. No, no it's going to cut him. He's going to get cut to the word when he reading. Yes. Whatever he teaching, he's going to be confounded by what he already saying. He gonna be like, you see ah. that? He's going to be confounded when he teaching. You see that? Talking about killing nobody. No. Most high is not a hypocrite. No, they is not no a caps, They teach this. Yes. The opposite, the carnal way. That's why Christ yes. said he hate that carnal understanding. Yes. He going to destroy the earth, the carnal understanding. And I've heard yes. them teach this and say, yes. y'all going to bring y'all bad yes. children to us and we going to kill them in the name of the Lord. And what do them people say? That's right. Bring it out. These people foolish. They are simple. We just read Following them tonight. Kill. Idiots. 
Now, go to, go, let's wait to find on this one. Isaiah 13 and 16. Now, this is what we elders been at a long time. Uh, and also, uh, the elders that's been made right now. Yeah, this you, one, got, you got people, yeah. that you got 300, I don't know, 370, 360 plus, 350 plus. I don't know where we are, but think about those people that have been uh, rocking with the channel for, for from the beginning. Mm -hmm. How much more profits are out there that have been, that has been sharing the video, has been doing mm -hmm. the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, been watching and been, every time a, a video came out, Mm -hmm. They've been they've been there religiously learning, writing the precepts down, and starting to teach it on their own. We don't know, mm -hmm. but they probably out there already doing it. Yes, Al C K Bucket uh, Bucket. Uh, that's the ball right there. Yeah, yeah, Buck Bucket. Layton. Huh? Buck Layton. Oh yes, I have to get a shout out to that brother <laughs> right there. Bucket, Buck Layton. Man, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of followers. They may not yeah. say nothing. Right. They just sit there and watch it. Israel of God. They yeah, may not even, God. yeah, they may not even thumbs up, but yeah. these, they they come back every week and they watch the videos and they learn it. Yes, that's right. But yes. absolutely free. That's right. Free. But look here. But look here. You also got the situation where now, how many members they got rolling with that that kind of thing? It's millions of them. Yes. But we only got. A remnant, yes. right? A few. Yes. What do you say? A few yeah. should be chosen. Yeah. A few hey, should be chosen. Think about that. Matthew, what? That twenty-two and fourteen. <laughs> a few. That's right. But but read that, elder, because this is another breakdown. We're gonna break down right here. This way in the fire. Isaiah thirteen and sixteen. Mm -hmm. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. Who the children? Their followers, right? Their followers, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. Before their eyes. See, this is what Elder King Yohanna was saying. We, that javelin, that mm -hmm. sword about the tab up with the word of God, bro. Tab up. Now mm -hmm. they now they talking, they talking evil. Mm -hmm. Who in the world gonna be killing children? Bro, mm -hmm. I, I literally heard it on mm -hmm. their rap song, like for going to their class, dude rapping about smashing babies' heads on a rock. Oh my god. In, in a rap song. So you went from going out in the world talking about killing your brother, but you still talking about killing somebody in your music. You just converted. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I'm what's killing a white man now. I ain't killing a black man in the video, but I'm killing a white man, so it's all good. We heard what's going to happen to that bull that pushed with that horn. Yes. Every one of them that you convert, <laughs> you got to pray. We're going to get a law pray. behind it. We're going to get a law behind it, too. When we, yeah. Read it again, Elder. Their children shall also be... Their children also shall be dashed to pieces yes. before their eyes. Their doctrines. Their houses shall be spoiled. You see that? And their wives ravished. Now, what's a wife? That, I've heard <laughs> some. Huh? Doctrine. Doctrine. There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, man, we, we holy people. <laughs> we kings and priests. What was I say? Let me tell you, I want you to punish her by raping her. Are you right. insane? Right. <laughs> These dudes so Doctrines. stupid, man. They so dumb. These people actually believe that the Bulls High is going to sanction them raping people. That's what I'm just saying, man. When y'all hey, listen to these stupid brother, people, man. Yes. Go back to. Uh, <laughs> uh, Exodus chapter 20 again. They don't even know how to break down Exodus chapter 20, brother. They don't know how to uh, all right. We got I gotta I gotta deal with Exodus too. Whenever you get done with this, let me go into that. Please. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're gonna I think you I think you're gonna bring up the same thing, but you, you can figure that out. <laughs> I, brother, brother, read that read that, brother. Where you want which one? Uh Exodus uh go back to Exodus chapter 20. Now, if you go into this, Elder, I, I'll hold off on it because no, I don't no, think no, you're going to no. I'm, well, <laughs> um, I'm going to bring up what I'm going to bring up. Well, let the, yeah, start at, uh, start at 13, Elder. Yeah, 13. Start I'll read it for you, Elder, since you're doing a... Yes, it's uh, quite <laughs> challenging. Right, okay. Exodus 20 and 13. Thou shalt not kill. Brother, it's three ways that a person can die. 
we read in second Ezra chapter four, verse um, four and five, you got to learn how to weigh the fire. There's three similitudes. You can die in a coffin to the loop. That's it. You can die uh, killing the old person in you and be born again, like Paul say. First Corinthians 15, 31. Then you can slay a man. He can be walking dead. He don't lost the spiritual interpretation. He walking mm -hmm. around dead because he don't have Christ's doctrine. John chapter 8, verse 12. The light. That light. Next verse. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That speaks for itself. A lot of people in the bed with Jezebel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Then the, all kind of grabbing the dictionary, the guy grabbing the encyclopedia, the grabbing the movie, the grabbing the Bible that the Pharisees wrote many years ago with fringes on. History books. History books, mixing it with the Bible. Philosophy. Three. Philosophy. <laughs> Personal gain. Thou shall not steal. Now, some people, no Israelite camps have stole God all his flock yes. because they teach in carnal Yes. They don't know how to weigh the fire. Yes. They have stole God's flock. Mm -hmm. Right? Also, Elder, if you take uh, a brother away from peace, you just stole yes. him away from God. Yes. <laughs> that's McKenzie that's his that's his law that's the McKenzie law he the king of peace they're gonna king figure it peace. out right. you are now stealing a man away from God anytime you disturb his peace yes that's right. and you don't that's male and female whatever you you do something to somebody else and it affects their peace you have now just stolen them away from God and you're not gonna get as deep and we get deep with precepts. We know that car we know those carnal doctrines. We know them, brother. I cannot stress that enough. We know how to weigh the fire. We know. But the spirit's interpretation is what God wants you to get. Right? Of the oh. I'm sorry. What say El Tobai? Uh, about the peace. I want to go look look uh one seventy uh, nine. Luke you chapter, kids, Luke and I'm gonna call them kids. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call them kids because we ain't got time for little children. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't got time for little children like that. It, we try to get people to have salvation. We're not trying to um, get money out of people. We don't even take no money. We use our own money. We because we know it's a law uh, behind that. It's a spiritual law. And the goal that Abraham had, that goal was the people. That silver was the people. Proverbs 6 and 30 for the silver. Isaiah 13 and 12 for the gold. Luke chapter 1 verse 79. To give light to them that sit in darkness. It's the one that we have to confirm. Right. Mm -hmm. And in the shadow of death. They are there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To guide our ooh, to guide our feet. <laughs> in the way of peace. Well, I like that right there. Now, what's the now? What's feet? What's the way? The way is uh, the, 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 the way is the doctrine. Yes, yes. So he said, guide our doctrine into the the doctrine of peace. Right. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, I see that? <laughs> right. Y'all see that? <laughs> they don't know how to write the vibe, brother, and they keep yeah. fighting, brother. Y'all can to fight. Them, to give light, to give understanding to yes. them that sit in darkness, that don't have no understanding, yes. in the shadow of death. The shadow. <laughs> the shadow? The, the, yeah, give them the shadow. <laughs> what's the shadow? Those, those congregations. <laughs> yes. But yes. What, what what shadow tell you? Who, who got it? What shadow, shadow is, um, is um, no, ignorance? No understanding. And, yes, correct. No That's right. Ignorance, no understanding. Yes. Yes. What is yeah. death? What is death? <laughs> no understanding. When you no. convert. Death is, remember we said the, the strength of death is the law, that carnal law? The state oh, yeah. of death. Yeah. Right? Corinthians 15, 56. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all remember yeah. that? So he talking yeah, yeah, about, yeah. This, when he's talking about you, like them people always, yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The yes. shadow of death is the carnal understanding. They don't know what, that's their favorite song. Right. Yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't know what it's talking about. To I will feel no evil. To be currently minded is death. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's saying the same thing. So y'all get it. Y'all get it. that's a very good precept there, Elder uh, to buy. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're showing out on us. Yeah, yeah but he, <laughs> hey, yeah. Go back to Exodus 20 and uh, 17. Oh, 16. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you got the other hand? Yes, sir. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, currently, we all know we see those camps doing that. But spiritually, y'all don't know the hidden secrets, the hidden interpretation. So you doing it, and you don't even know. When you lying against the spiritual law, you doing it. You don't know the spiritual interpretation. How can the carnal man judge a spiritual man? Dang. You can't. A spiritual man can judge a carnal man. We know your law. You don't know this one. Mm, ain't that in first corinthians uh two it's first corinthians two uh, 14. Say, yeah 14 and i think 14, that's it. yeah first corinthians 2 and 14 it tell you the corner man can't you can't, can't judge the skip the spirit of man you don't know the doctrine brother right. and yeah. they, like that thing say they are contrary one to another yes i want to make sure the doctrine is the exact opposite of the spiritual doctrine yeah. So you can't mix them together or you else you're going to confuse the people. So now that y'all done went and learned <clears throat> what the yeah, spirit of doctrine mean, so if you come up and you start talking and you start quoting the spirit of doctrine, right, to try and confuse the people, all you're doing is blaspheming the Holy Ghost. That's what, what you're doing, doing, brother. That's all you do doing we, bro, blaspheming. It, it, it hurts us, man, because you don't know. Dang you don't know. Yeah, you don't have a first clue. Just learn, brother. This world's about to end. I don't know when. We don't know when. But it's it's headed straight that way. Mm-hmm. Hey. Read. So when this is the oh, I'm sorry. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Um, uh, um, so when it says that the the carnal man can't judge the the um the spirit meaning let's he can't teach him nothing right yeah let's go there yeah right let's, let's, the other let's go, go on ahead and, and, and bring it on i tell them what they yes. what they're saying you know we don't want to leave nothing unturned yes <clears throat> after this this because we, we got to bring up about another precept after that mm-hmm. to back up this precept at first Corinthians 2 14 and 15. First Corinthians two fourteen. This the but key the, right here. This the key right. This verse right here. But the natural man <laughs> receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Now, now it's slow. <laughs> it's, telling you, it's telling you right there. He said you don't have to nothing to judge me because I'm speaking spiritual. Spirit means oh, word. Yes, right. yes, word. John six sixty three. The spirit is the word. You ain't got the word of God. That you don't have it. You. How you can you? Co- the word of God. I'm speaking spiritual definitions, and you trying to correct me? And you talking? Right. Yeah, I know right. you're carnal. I know right. you're carnal. God don't want that earth carnal understanding. He rejected. Right. right. Read. For they are foolishness unto him. See that? That carnal understanding that's coming from that mat- natural man is foolish. Yes. Read. Neither can he know them. See that? Because they are spiritually discerned. You don't even want to find out. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Mm-hmm. All things the spiritual man know that carnal trash. Mm-hmm. We know that trash is trash. But we don't... Is... oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. No, oh, you you were saying something else? No, I was reading. Yes, go ahead. Yet he himself is judged of no man, no carnal man. 
Yeah, see, he classes yeah, three and eighteen. Can we, can we get, can, can we get uh, with the judges? So we get with the judges yeah. so they know what it means. They thinking, yeah, judges, you can sentence somebody to something. Let's get <laughs> with what it means to judge somebody. What the Bible says, not your carnal thought. What does the Bible say with judges? You have to precept it with the Bible. So yes, the whole Bible is an allegory. So rock ten and one. A wise judge will instruct mm -hmm. his people. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a prophet. That's a prophet, right? A a, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. That's talking about prophets. That's from my yeah. teachers. Yes, and you know the order is also Melchizedek. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got to have Christ head and God. That's the order. That's the order. <laughs> Boy, that dog go. That old. That, that, that man. man old, uh, we we gonna get him later. We gonna get him later. We gonna get him. We gonna get him later. That old bishop boy. Old that squeaky. boy. Boy. Yeah. yeah. Squeaky. What was that? First Corinthians uh, two fifteen nine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thing is, stop leaning upon your own understanding. Get what the Bible says. And once you get it, don't go toward the carnal interpretation. Get the spiritual interpretation, what it's saying. That's the that's going from the milk to the meat. He don't want that milk. Right. Well, who have who have known the mind of the Lord? See that? That he may instruct him. Yes, <laughs> you gonna tell the God what he what he like? God say he want the spiritual man, right? <laughs> but we have the mind of Christ. It's doctrine. You see that? And go yes. to uh, it's another one. They're gonna back up that First Corinthians six and, and one, because these these people he said because he mentioned how can the carnal man judge the spiritual man? You can't do it, sonny. <laughs> there you go Ed. first yeah. corinthians six and one dare any of you having a matter against another see that go to law before the unjust and not before the saints that right there is heavy a lot of people think because they they fit the deuteronomy because they saints no you got to kill the old man and you got to sacrifice that animal in you to be a saint. Yes. Yeah. You got to kill that old person. Yes. Just so they can get it. So y'all know who the saints are. Mm -hmm. Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. What do a folk animal got to do about sacrificing? <laughs> and you say, okay, I killed an animal. Right. <laughs> I'm good. Brother, stop it. Stop next, it. Next, ver next verse, explain it. Next verse. And the heavens, the carnal, shall declare his righteousness. Mm -hmm. For God is judge himself. <laughs> That's right. Just a little so, more backup. Yes. Yep. So y'all can see, he ain't talking about no animals. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We need to talk about this. This helped me out anyway. First mm -hmm. Peter's 2 and 5. He also as lively stones those are the saints okay they got life christ is the way the truth and the life okay are Read. built up a spiritual house a spiritual uh -oh. doctrine okay uh -oh. that's what we are with okay <laughs> read and holy priesthood we the holy priest who are teaching the law that christ gave y'all uh -oh. see that Read. Ooh, to offer up spiritual sacrifices. That's, That's all right there. he taking. He ain't That's taking what he said. animals That's no more. <laughs> Go back to the other scripture real quick. <laughs> yes, uh, first Corinthians six and what? Go back. One back. First five. First five. Okay. First five. First five. First five. Verse five. Gotcha. 
gather my saints together unto me, those have made a covenant with me by what? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Go back to the other scripture, Lord. And let me ask something else. Yeah, yeah, go back to it. But let me tell you something. Everybody who did wickedness in this world, Jeremiah, what is that? Uh, four twenty-two say they wise to do what? Uh, wise evil. to do evil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, then, don't you think of a person if they was they can get the kingdom by killing a four-legged animal or a bird? Everybody be, be having turtle doves in their hand. Yeah, be, be no, 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 it'd be animals extinct out here. Because it'd be, well, it'd be going on this world. <laughs> yeah, it'd be people had to kill animals. It'd been extinct animals up the wazoo, man. That's right. No more hey. cows out here. So, <laughs> so when they do wrong, they say, "Well, I killed my bull today. I killed my ram today. Right. I killed my chickens today. Uh, uh, I can get the kingdom." No, there ain't no, enough bro. chickens in the world, man. That carnal law is done away with. Oh, uh, chill. It's done. It's done. Yeah, the Passover. The, the Pentecost, Garbage. The, the the tabernacles, Garbage. all of them, those carnal oblations, it's over with. He okay. ain't taking oh, wait, it wait. no more. Speaking of oblations, Elder, I had an oblation from a brother. He wanted to know when Moses was uh in the desert and wasn't we feeding the people in the wilderness. We talked about get, sacrifice. <laughs> like he, he he wanted yeah. to know yes. if 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 <laughs> Moses fed them with the quail doctrine. And also, <laughs> when Moses struck the rock, the doctrine came out. Yeah. Can we please elaborate on these questions that the world has want to know here on Elders of Israel? Yeah. <laughs> you see, this this is the thing. You know, you got these guys out here, right? And they, the, the, for, to be nice, they simple, okay? <laughs> and what they do is they come up with a bunch of foolishness, right? Now here, like we saying, we got serious business going on, all right? The man is making moves. The, the Chinese man came over there and made it, shook his hand last week. He just said, I'm moving my stuff over here to this other dude over here in Belarus and all of that. Now, so things going down, but you know, these people sitting up in here, they still able to get on, you know, Porn hub and all that other stuff. So you know the world ain't ain't stopping for them until right. it until it's over. Until then do. they gonna be they gonna be uh, trying to find out if they can get some understanding. Cause yeah. they joke fell flat, mm -hmm. you know. But we'll go over here and we'll get y'all. Let me start. Let me gonna cut it real short. Go to Psalms 105 and Psalms 105 and verse 38. We'll start there. We gonna cut it real short. For these people, we we won't spend too much time on it. But yeah. I appreciate you, brother, concern. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna correct it because hopefully because our, see the, the, our job is not to cause strife between us. No. Our job yeah. is to show you the error so you can on your whatever you're doing teach one day. Learn. And y'all see how the Most High he <laughs> he challenged us, man. Because oh know, my God, we done got old. <laughs> and you know them folk come up in here now we sitting here looking at what's going on and these folks sitting up here playing games you know right. this ain't tiddly weeks my friend this no. is real life and whenever them bombs start falling here then everybody gonna be serious right everybody it's a lot of people worried right now our emails are starting to get flooded with questions. I just noticed mine when I just, I didn't even know because I hardly go on that one because I know they go to the elders of Israel. Then my mailbox is flooded. So now I got to <laughs> go you. back and answer people's questions as well. Some people know the most I say, I'm going to give you a similar tool. He said in the latter days, somebody going to be wearing purple. He said they're going to be afflicting widows. Mm -hmm. And y'all sitting there watching. Oh, what? Wait. He wear purple, and he just afflicted a widow in front of everybody. And y'all act like y'all dumb and can't see what's going yes. on. He's showing you the end, right? He wrote it at the beginning, and, and you seeing it now. And you saw that carnally and didn't do anything about it. Do you yes. think the Most High going to bless you with spiritual interpretation? No, he ain't going to do that. Because we got we're going to go back to First Corinthians chapter six. But go ahead, Elder. All right, uh, Psalms. Chapter 105, verse 38. Egypt was glad when they departed. 
So we're now talking about Moses. So we're getting to answer what your question is, brother. For the fear of them fell upon them. Uh-huh. He spread a cloud for a covering. A cloud is a prophecy. We're talking about Moses. That was Look the at covering. Them precepts. Look at them precepts. Right. And fire to give light to the night. In the night. night. So the the fire, fire he gave was the word. Fire is the word of God. He gave them that's the light he gave them in their ignorance. That's what he's saying. Verse 40. The people asked, and he brought whales mm -hmm. and satisfied them with the bread. What's bread? Understanding. That's right. Bread yeah. is understanding. So he 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 comparing those quails to bread. The which understanding. Is Matthew four and four, and Sirach fifteen and three. That's that. understanding. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold that right there. We're going to come right back to this. Go to second address 115. We're going to get more on these quails. Let's deal with the quails. Because the brother asked a, a pertinent question. Maybe it's for his salvation. He asked if the quails and everything in his Bible is similar to. So let's get your answer for you. Second address chapter one, verse 15. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, the quails <laughs> were as a token uh -oh. to you. So if I have a token <laughs> and I go to an arcade, right? Mm -hmm. What is the token representation of when I put it inside the, the arcade? Money. Money. Is mm -hmm. it really money? No. No. Nope. No, can't spend so that, it nowhere else. Can't spend it nowhere else but at that place where I'm using that token, correct? Mm -hmm. so what did God say again? Thus saith the Almighty Lord, the quails were as a token to you. So is, does that mean it was a similitude? That would it sound like to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the, the, the quails weren't actual quails, were they? Brother. No. They were prophets. Yes. They were prophets. Yes. Well, I'm gonna prove it. Keep going. I gave you tents for your safeguard. What are what are tents? <laughs> tents of the, of the congregation. Well, yes. Churches. Yeah. Churches. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, he murmured there. Mm -hmm. You still complain. Yes. Okay. You still complain. Hold that. Go back to the other one. The quails, that's one on quails. Let's go on two on quails. Uh, since we see, make sure we keep the thought. He brought quails. Let's go to Numbers 1131. We coming back here to- the Yes, we're coming back to this, yes. So we got one on the bread of heaven. I just need two. Because we're going to the next verse on that one. I'm gonna deal with these quails right now. Numbers 1131, yes, sir. Again. We have to do this, even though, you know, we going around the way and we know nine times out of 10, the person asked it to be a smart ad, a smart butt <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. You cut them, ain't you? Oh, yeah, man. Look at the it's, yeah. it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. <laughs> you know, saving grace is somebody else probably had this question. So right. the most high use this young man in order to get the real understanding and for that mm -hmm. we're all grateful right sure. numbers chapter 11 verse 31 and i apologize for uh, becoming so uh aggressive in my speech brother they'll bring out boy I tell you the truth each year and get on your boy you try to tell your boy you about to lose your soul boy what, what, what you say Moses was doggone say Lord how could you do this and how could the next thing you know a few days later like man kill him <laughs> I can't take it no yeah more. I'm sorry Lord you right I can't right, take right. it right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what these people do to the prophets, man. I don't want to speak. 
ill advised like Moses. So I apologize for being aggressive. Right. <laughs> we gonna move on <laughs> to this <laughs> verse here. Numbers right. <laughs> chapter 11, verse 31. <laughs> and there went forth a wind. What's the wind? Every wind of doctrine. Sing well, a song. <laughs> that's right. From the Lord. That's, well, that's the word the going out. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and brought quails from the sea. Stop. What's, what's stop. The stop. 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 Right there. Stop. 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 Right there. Stop. 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 <laughs> now I'm not a a bird enthusiast, but right. I watch National Geographic, and I definitely know the quails do not come from out of water. No, they should don't. <laughs> no, it's a parable. Oh my right. God! Right. I know quails don't come out of water. They sure oh don't. Seagulls do. Yeah, penguins. That's a different type of bird, yeah. son. Penguins. You can't precept a penguin in the bar. You just can't. It ain't there. I assure you. Right. All right. Keep going and let them fall by the camp. So to give you to understand, he brought quails from the sea. There were different prophets with different doctrines. Yes. Mm -hmm. The sea is uh, Psalms 18, 16, son. If you're out there, write that down, please. And and for God, please. <laughs> Get to the United Negro College Fund. Because <laughs> a mountain is a terrible. terrible thing to Absolutely. And he wasting it. Right. As it were a day's journey. Journey is a way. Day, day is the understanding. Journey is a way. It's a path. Mm -hmm. so it's talking about a doctrine. On this side. On the spiritual side. Mm -hmm. Side is a law. Right. <laughs> and, as, and as it were a day's journey on the other side. On that carnal side. You be right. dividing the word between carnal and spiritual. Round about the camp. Mm -hmm. Everybody got this understanding. Right. And as it were two cubits high. Cubits, whenever he started talking about them big measurements, he talking about giants. So it's just a significant amount of understanding. understanding. Y'all see he, that? He ran the fire. That's right. Yeah. See, he ran the fire. He cubing it up. Mm -hmm. Squared in. He mm -hmm. cubing it. Mm -hmm. The word. The word of God. Right. Upon the face, face is a doctrine of mm -hmm. the earth of the carnal. Mm -hmm. So he's telling you mm -hmm. what he did. Mm -hmm. and that's what he's talking mm -hmm. about with the camp. So we're gonna go back to uh, Psalms. Was it one hundred five? Yep. <clears throat> forty. Psalms one hundred five and forty. The people asked, and he brought quails and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. So we can cut short, uh, Sirach 15 and three is also tell you that's the bread of understanding. Mm -hmm. All right, next mm -hmm. verse. He opened the rock. So now we just came back from the scriptures. Uh, was it first Peter first 2 Peter, and 5? Two and Said five. that we are lively stones. Mm -hmm. So but let's get another, you wanna keep going. He opened the rock. And the waters gushed out. I, you know, I, I here's Johannan's old true Hollywood stories. I've hit rock before <laughs> yes. in the military and I've, and I hit it with a sledgehammer. Mm. I have never <laughs> seen water gush out of a rock. I've okay. seen a rock split in half, but I've never mm -hmm. seen water gush out. So, you know, they got all them people up there in prison making big rocks in the little the rocks. Little rocks. <laughs> they sure ain't got no problem with flooding over there. <laughs> so, you know what, man? I'm, I'm scared to even go deeper with them, bro, because he yeah, can't man. even understand the, the quail yeah. in the water, bro. I okay. want to take them deeper, but I, can, I can't do it. Let's yeah. go to uh, uh, Ephesians 5.26. You're going to walk it down. So he said the water, water's gushed out. Yeah. So you try to say the doctrine came out? Exactly what the Bible saying. Yeah. Brother, what don't get that? your brain hey, hey, your hey, 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 uh, problem Please. test. What was that? What was that uh that precept in uh 
in Proverbs, you brought forth that time <laughs> about wisdom and a fool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, it was him. Oh, it says about wisdom being too Bro. high for a fool. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> oh, praise to the bold eye. <laughs> Ephesians 5 and 26 that they might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That's one. Let's go to John 3 and 5. What the word is. What the water is. And I appreciate your patience there, Elder Yohan and God. Yeah, brother. Yeah, you brother. are being very, very particular <laughs> about informing well, this young misled young man because i want his soul i want his soul to you know get the kingdom i want him to understand it and do what he's he, he said he was going to do he's yeah. supposed to teach the only reason why he's doing it because he's rejecting what he's saying to do to god so yeah. i'm showing you so you can go and teach i'm not showing you to be a, uh, uh to beef with you i'm showing with you so you need to teach this teach it correctly that's all we're trying to say to you please um. read John chapter 3 verse 5 Jesus answered Verily verily I say unto thee Except a man be born of water Of what? Water oh. uh -huh. And of spirit Uh oh He cannot enter into the kingdom of God So that's what the water So you gotta know this word And know the spiritual understanding of his word Are you not entering the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. I didn't say it. That's what the Bible says. That's what that's what he said. Right. So now let's go back to Psalms. 105 and 41. So he uh, said it was the rock. We got for the rock. It was the rock, baby. Brother, I would I would go just spirit, you know, the most uh, the cornerstone is the rock, and also Joseph's doctrine is the rock. Yes. Uh, 49 and, right. and 24. Let's but that might one. be Deuteronomy they, 32 and 4. Let's go. Let's show it to you with the Rockies. Yes, bro. They bro. And also write down Exodus chapter 31 and 18. That's the rock. The commandments of God, brother. Mm -hmm. Brother. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's okay. Yes. See, see, Elder Johanna still got young children, so he, he got to have patience. <laughs> but see, my children grown. I'm going to look at them. You said uh, 32 and 14, you said? Yeah, I think around there. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 14. No, no. Hold on, hold on. What? Yeah, he's going, he's going. <laughs> Butter of kind. And milk of sheep. Mm -hmm. with, Understanding of sheep. With fat of lambs. Mm -hmm. And rams of the breed of Bashan. That's the word that God. breed that that breed is that seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they're teaching for Bashan. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a doctor. Mm -hmm. Name of the doctor. That's, there you go, a doctor. And the goats mm -hmm. with the fat of kidneys. That's too heavy for them, bro. That right, like, keep, that, no, 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 no. Just going to the next verse. I'm just the yeah, next okay. verse is what I'm. I'm just trying to read it so we get the full thought. Yes, if you write us, we'll break all that down because yeah, it's yeah. very simple. That's not the point I'm going for. It's but just want to wax fat. That's what I'm going all right. for. With the fat of kidneys of wheat, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. Mm -hmm. And they don't. You don't think that's a parable talk about drinking pure blood from grape? <sighs> Yeah, he got it. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 15. <clears throat> but Jeshuron waxed fat. That doctrine went, where's Jeshuron? Would that be Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. Wax mm -hmm. fat. Oh. Mm -hmm. And kicked. Mm -hmm. Thou art waxing fat. Mm -hmm. Thou art grown thick. Mm hmm. Thou art covered with fatness. Mm -hmm. Then he forsook God, yeah. which made him. 
and lightly esteem the rock of his salvation. Remember? Now let's go back to Psalms 105. So y'all know who the rock is, right? We just showed you right there. It says this God is the rock Come of his on, salvation. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, Christ. brother. Come on. So he struck the rock and the water came out. That's exactly what the Bible saying. The doctrine came out. That's what he said. So he struck yeah. a rock and the doctrine, the doctrine came, came out? out? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, he sounds like a winner of right of life's lottery. Second Samuel 220, 20, 22 verse 2. 222. 2. <laughs> 2, 2, 2, 2. Second Samuel 222. 2, 2, 2. 2, 2. 22. <laughs> Second Samuel 2, 2. 2. That'd be easy for him to remember right there. Yeah. Please yeah. give him something easy. Don't yeah. go too deep on him. Don't Second go. Samuel 2, 2, and 2. I'm just showing you with the with the with the rocket. So brother, you can you can <laughs> write these down in your uh... Second Samuel, chapter 22. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I'm having some some uh, unforced errors over here, I tell you. Boy. <laughs> well, I tell you. Y'all pray for my arthritis. All right. <laughs> I know that. So I, got, I got arthritis in my hey, I'm for that. I'm for that. <laughs> I got arthritis. I got arthritis in my scrolling finger. I put a, I put an extra A in there. That old arthritis. Second mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when you got a claim, two. when you claim a disease, that's hey, when you know man. you get no. I, I got my you. arthritis, not your arthritis, my arthritis. That's right. <laughs> Second right, Samuel, chapter 22, verse 2. Uh -huh. And he said, The Lord is my rock <laughs> uh -oh. and my fortress uh -oh. and my deliverer. Uh -oh. next, next verse. Oh my goodness, man. Dude, if I was if I had wrote that thing, man, I might be sitting up here saying to myself, I think he's making an an, an, an example out of me. <laughs> hey, hey, Saul what two and nine, he said, whooping with the rock. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come here, boy. Come here. You get all the information you need, my friend. The oh God, my God of the God of my rock, <laughs> in him will I trust. Hey, brother. His mother, might, my... his mother might write him an excuse. Y'all need to <laughs> <try. laughs> He's special. Mm -hmm. He's special. It's all right, brother. He we is get my you know shield <clears throat> and the horn of my salvation. So now we get what horn is. We know what the shield is. Now here go that tower we were talking mm -hmm. about earlier, the elder Tobias. Yeah. My yeah. high tower <laughs> and my refuge, mm -hmm. my savior, thou savest me from violence. Mm -hmm. So back to Psalm 150. So from brother, all I hope that hate, from all, all that, that hatred, hatred, from that mm -hmm. old person in mm -hmm. you. Yeah. From all them people it. who sit up in here and try and mock you, but get yeah. mocked in return. The most high ain't playing no games. He no. said he's gonna laugh at your calamity. Don't Go you get see your granddaddy. All us, don't you see all us over here chuckling at you, young man? Yes. Oh my god. Brother. He gonna laugh at your calamity. Just like they laughing at them them foolish uh bishops over there at IUIC and all of that. The same thing. Because they sitting up in there trying to be smart. Mm -hmm. And the most high say, I, I tell you who's smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll make a we'll make you famous. Mm -hmm. Right. So All right. <clears throat> I hope that answers your question. Right. Oh, so yeah, let me bro. read it again <laughs> so that we can make sure <laughs> we've covered all our bases. Mm -hmm. He opened the rock. The rock is Christ. Mm -hmm. All right. And the waters gushed out. So when they started teaching Christ's doctrine, the understanding came out. So that's a doctrine coming out of a rock, not an actual physical rock. Again, he used that word token before. Mm -hmm. Kind of a hint to you that this whole thing is a parable. All right. 
They ran in the dry places like a river. The dry places is them carnal camps and carnal churches, all right? Them, them people who believe in that carnal stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause they thirsty right now. Right. Mm -hmm. so, All right. Dry places have no water. If Correct. water is the word of God, that means there's no word of God there. That's exactly. a dry place. They did opposite. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They ain't got no understanding over there. Oh my God. Hopefully that helps. You know, and yeah. I really apologize to anybody that was offended by yes. the way that uh, we had to address this young man. Yes. But yeah. um, yes. nonetheless, let's hope that we everybody him. now understands what's going on. Yes. So go back to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Uh, Lord, no. I hope you got the understanding from that. Right. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> but that was... We ain't got time to play games. We ain't got man. time. Oh my God. Yeah, no. Yeah. First Corinthians chapter six, verse one. Uh -huh. I got it. Dare any of you. He said, dare, 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 dare. I dare you. Having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust. That's talking about that kind of understanding. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, not, That's and not before the saints. The ones, the saints that killed the old person. The old mm -hmm. person, because he knows spiritual interpretation. He's going to get it. The most high, if you don't have hate, the most high going to give you grace and mercy to get it. All you got to do is ask. He'll give it to you. Don't hey, hate he, nobody. Hey, Elder, he asking you a question, right? Because they're saying, like, when you go to a spiritual, because you just said a spiritual man, a carnal man can't judge a spiritual man, right? We just read mm -hmm. that scripture. Mm -hmm. So he's asking you, dare any of you to have a matter against each other, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. So that's what's happening now. They're quick to cut each other up carnally with the scriptures. They yeah. can judge Esau when I can pull it carnally, mm -hmm. but then they won't come, neither one of them will come before the saints and, and show what it really means in the spirit. They run. They'll run from it. He's asking that dare, he said, dare any of you. Dare you. So you got that question, you wanna say, go to the saints and go find out what it really means. Yeah. I dare any of you to go do that. Yes. They're not going to do that. They ain't going to do that. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. And, and like the elder said before, we apologize. We're offended anybody. But I tell you, some of this stuff is so ridiculous. You know, we know the carnal young men, young women, young men, young women. We know when you're talking carnally. We know that stuff. Get the parable now. Get the similar to. We know that carnal stuff, yes. But it's the spiritual interpretation what God wants you to get. Right. Oh, go ahead, Elder. Uh, Elder, you got that other video? That beautiful yeah. bean footage? <clears throat> yeah, now I let's, got it. Let's read this. Keep reading, Elder. Verse right. 2. Verse 2. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Who? The, the saints, saints shall the saints. judge the yes. world. They're the ones going to mm. correct everything. The one to know the spiritual interpretation. That corner, we know that. We can judge that too and judge spiritually. That's uh, what's that? Second Timothy 2 and 15. Mm. You, got the, you got the rightly divide. The right divide. Yes. yes. We yes. got the whole arm of God on us. Ephesians 6 11. And if, and if the world shall be judged by you, mm -hmm. see what he see, see what he see what the Lord did right there. Yes, because mm -hmm. if you understood what he was saying, if if yeah, and if the world shall be judged by you, mm -hmm. are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Read and judge <laughs> mean teach. We just, teach. We just teach. read it. This so, it right here. It's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. Mm -hmm. right. Know ye not that ye we shall judge angels? Stop. See that right there? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna judge the spiritual man or one or um um female? How are you gonna judge you don't know the spiritual interpretation, boy? Right. 
how are you gonna judge us? You don't know that we laugh at that carnal statement that you make because you're looking silly, son. Right. You silly. Right. How are you gonna judge the spiritual person when you don't know the spiritual interpretation? Right. How are you gonna do it, son? Just sit back and learn. Yeah. Right. We apologize for laughing because we get a lot of oh, it's silly. Right. We know the carnal interpretation. Right. I got grown children, grown grandchildren. We we know, brother. We know, we know. Read on. Know ye not <clears throat> that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? He said, "This life." Mm -hmm. So, if you're in this carnal body, how you gonna judge? Now, he ain't talking about judging Gabriel and Michael. No, brother. And see, that's a those are doctrines. <laughs> those doctrines. How how are you gonna judge those so-called angels in your head, Michael and Gabriel coming down here? How you gonna judge them? And you're in the carnal body. Right. You're a spiritual person when you start learning spiritual interpretation. You got two bodies, son. You got a carnal body and a spiritual body. You can't do it. Just sit back and learn, son. Okay? Sit back and learn. And stop being silly and grow up because the world about to end. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's it right there. I think that's it for first. All yeah. praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to try and see if we can. Uh... You know what else? I, I got a couple more too. Because y'all mentioned about. Um, it's a similar to also go to Exodus chapter 34 and 28. Moses did the same thing Christ did. The same thing. But y'all can't see it because it's spiritual. It's a carnal interpretation and a spiritual interpretation. Let's see. I think it's 28. Exodus chapter 34, verse 28. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. And he did neither eat bread mm -hmm. nor drink water. Now, think about this. How many people in this world try to do what Christ did? This is Moses. <laughs> Right. How many people successfully not drink bread or eat water for 40 days and 40 nights? And, and, and you, you, you mean not eat bread and drink water? You said drink bread and eat oh, water. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, no. My dyslexia, I what you meant. My, my dyslexia <laughs> acting up sometimes, you know. But who, okay, let me get it correct. Right. Who, who, who did you ever meet did not eat bread or any food for 40 days or drink water? For 40 days and 40 nights, and they lived. I wait. Nobody. Bro, let All me right. tell you something. You Get know what? I'm going to hold my breath on that one. I'm going to pass out. The, what, <laughs> this, that thing is so heavy how the most I did. He ate meat, spiritual mm -hmm. meat. Right. Mm -hmm. He ate spiritual meat. That's mm -hmm. what he ate. Of course, he ate carnal food. Get yeah. to my spiritual understanding. That's what he ate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's passing right there with the same mm -hmm. thing Christ did. He purged not that, that foolishness. Purging that foolishness. Now, mm -hmm. go to Exodus 24 and 18. Why well, just mention bread and water? You mean that's all they had in those days, bread and water? Mm -hmm. But you had cows and oxen and all that stuff. <laughs> it's only cornbread and oh, bread and water. But no right. no, no wonder that. that. The one that they had a deep boss of TV, both right. a deep boss the Lord. Right, only the priest was getting the meat. Hey, they, we, yeah. we, they barbecuing over there. Everybody was eating yeah. corn and, and yeah. bread. That's yeah, right. Yeah, read that. 18. Exodus 24, 18. Mm -hmm. And Moses went into the, the midst of the cloud uh -huh. and got him up into the mount. Mm -hmm. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. You see that? 40 days and 40. He was fasting. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He was faster than that car on the static, dealing with them mm-hmm. knuckleheads that we dealing with now. Right. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> yes. And y'all can see why we are what we are. Cause like 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 he, he told he told uh Ezekiel, he said, Man, you gonna eat the dung of men. Now this man that presented dung as an offering to the most high to try and, and mock the spiritual doctrine. Mm-hmm. Now we had to go and consume this dung and then come and bring precepts to show this man. And again, it's all the most high's will. Because it might be somebody who was confused on that. Because they sitting there saying, did the most high by magic make all of them quail come up in there? Right? Now they see it's a parable. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks to whomever it is that went and put that thing out there to try and make everybody look simple. Right? Because he making himself look simple. Because he getting his answer. Like I told Mm y'all, if somebody make y'all go and get the answer, make sure he get the full answer. And start so, showing your face sometimes so we can see right. who you can. Right. <laughs> Show your right. face. Be bold about it. You, That's right. You so, uh, you love the most high so bad, but you hide behind the screen. Show it. Because yeah, I'm exactly. telling you, you're going to get this rod. You That's better right. bring it carnally and break it down spiritually. And, 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 and most of all, do not post the law and don't keep the law. Right. Right. You say two precepts and you bring zero. Right. You bring feelings. Mm-hmm. God don't care about your feelings, bro. Mm-hmm. All you no. motivational speakers, I'd rather hear the, what his name? Les Miles or, or <laughs> Tony Roberts or whatever his name is. I'd rather hear those motivational speakers. Yeah, bro. But yeah, rather bro. than hear a motivational speaker trying to yeah, tell bro. me about the Bible and they yeah, ain't bro. got no precept to back yeah. it up. At least they stay in their lane. That's right. right. You you get in this lane, oh, buddy. You better know spiritual interpretation. We know the carnal again. We know that. <laughs> you get in this lane, you better you better move pretty swift, son. Because <laughs> Elijah <laughs> exactly. I ran that chariot. Remember that. <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean Elijah all ran a UFO? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I died daily. I died daily. <laughs> well, hey, I'm telling Elijah, say I'm way ahead of you, son. <laughs> hey, brother, uh, El, Elder, wait a minute now. You probably started so because he probably right in about that UFO. Oh, my. Yeah, like, huh? <laughs> if you would right. want to know about the chariots, next check the video we did. Was it next? Is coming out? Yes, brother. Yes. Well, you by the time this come out, you probably already broke down chariots. You yes, you brother. Feel on that. You right. get your uh, on that. Do the on the nine and nine, and I got one more after this. Yeah. You know what, man? And this is the thing that we're going through now. We have to purge out this stuff for the day, for the day, for the day. That's what I'll be doing a whole lot of things, purging out that, that corner mess, man. Because you'll have, yeah. brother, you'll have a nerve breakdown dealing with some of them folk, bro. Yep. We think it's spiritually breaking the, the precepts down out of the Bible, what the Bible called them, and they comparing that corner interpretation to us. But read that, Elder. Deuteronomy 9 and 9. When I was going up into the mount to receive the tables of stone. Now, the tables of stone, that's the commandment. Uh, Exodus 31 and 18. Even the tables of the covenant, which the Lord made with you. Now, see, you notice, you know, that's totally different. Mm -hmm. Even the tables of covenant, which the Lord made with you. He talking about that carnal understanding. Now, when he went up there, he got two tables. Mm -hmm. Carnally. He writing the Bible spiritually. Mm-hmm. That everlasting covenant is the spiritual interpretation. That corner mm-hmm. ain't never trash. Right. Trash. Read. Then I abode in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. He purged out that mess. And I neither did eat bread nor drink water. Brother, brother, drink you some corner water for your tummy. Yes. Eat you some bread for your tummy. Right. He ate spiritual understanding. That's what he's saying, brother. The man drunk fluids, but he did not take that garbage. That dumb water is what he's talking about. That yeah. uh, 
second average of 648. That bread, he talking about that bread from the corner of understanding. He didn't eat that. The spiritual, the spiritual is those tables of stone, okay? Yes. That's the spiritual understanding he talking about. Yes. He got that. Okay. That other stuff, talking about eating bread and all that other stuff. Yeah. He he talking about that 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 con of understanding. He purged himself of all that stuff yes. he had learned before. I mean, yes. he was a priest of uh, the priest of Midian. So, you know, he, he let all that stuff go. He got the real doctrine. Yes. And he went up there. Yeah, to my Moses. Yeah, Moses. Yeah. Yeah. All praises. Yes. Go to uh, Matthew 4 and 1. Christ did the same thing. When he mentioned Moses' law, it just got to the time that people start mentioning Moses' law, especially the Pharisees. They said Moses' law. They was going on the carnal interpretation of Moses. That's right. why Christ said, do Moses' law. Then you read in Moses' law, mm -hmm. he wrote it two ways. Christ took the spiritual interpretation. The Pharisee manipulated the people and took the carnal interpretation. See? And that's what confused the people. When they say Moses' law, now we still do Moses' law, the spiritual interpretation of Moses' law, but we don't do that carnal interpretation of Moses' law. We don't do that. Right. We're under the order what, of Melchizedek, yes. not the order of Aaron. We do spiritual. Right. Yeah. Yes. Matthew 4 and 1. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit mm. into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Uh-huh. See, now he's been tempted of the devil. I'm trying to see where that's at. Matthew. Well, it go down to 14. I think it's 11. Go to 11. You said uh, verse 11? Yes, that corner on the, the devil is that corner man. Yeah, yeah. The corner man within yourself. The, you, the, he brings temptation. Uh, no, no, no. Let's nah. go back. Let's go back to. Uh, let's go. It'd be better that you read down. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have to read yeah. down. Just read down. Because I want the party to say he fasted 40 days. Yeah, you yeah, see, that's, that's the next verse. That's, that's the next, next verse. verse. There you go. Yeah, yeah. need to read the next verse. All right. Matthew 4 and 2. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hunger. See, the thing is, they think he, nah, brother, he wanted some more understanding. And, and, and another thing, the way this thing is playing out, right? The Most High telling you, when you start to uh, understand that the doctrine that you in is no good, you going to fast. You going to start doing what you got to do to purge yourself of all that understanding, right? But whenever you purge yourself of all that understanding, that makes you vulnerable. Yes. You mm -hmm. you are vulnerable to temptation. Mm -hmm. So if a person comes along after you done went and purged yourself for this belief for this doctrine, they come up in there and they able to sell it. You might be caught up into another doctrine. Right. Okay. Because that's what he explaining what happened in the Christ. Mm -hmm. So after he all of that stuff, because remember. Christ was he was sitting with physicians and he was learning all kind of stuff mm -hmm. all right and then the time came where the most high he you know he he had uh he made the uh when he met, went and made the uh the wine for that wedding and all that other stuff yes so now he he didn't got his doctrine in Calvary. yes so he didn't went and he didn't pared away the stuff that he don't need no more he didn't mm -hmm. focused it on what his spiritual doctrine this, this doctrine y'all see that and that that make you vulnerable mm -hmm. right whenever you get rid of all of them doctrines because yes. it's, it's just like whenever you was talking about how Esau was he got used to going out there getting that defiled stuff and he ain't know how to get rid of it he about to mention it right now but, uh, Elder what you saying if they had spiritual eyes they could see it what you just said Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And when the tempter came to him, 
he said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Mix the doctrine. Mm -hmm. Stones are God's words. Mix mm -hmm. it with another bread. Mm -hmm. You know what? And I have, I hope that kid don't ask me another silly question. Bread is the word of God. Bread can be uh, the foul food from another man's table. Whatever, whatever understanding that you're eating, you can get spiritual interpretation or carnal interpretation. What it's saying right there, that tempter came to him. And if thou be the son of God, command these stones be made bread. That stuff that he purging out. Mm -hmm. What it's saying is that tempter said, mix it with some more bread, some more mm -hmm. doctrine. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see that, Amwa? Yes, sir. You yes, see sir. it, don't you? Yes, sir. The stones are words. Uh, Exodus chapter 31 and 18. Bread is John chapter 6, verse 48. And verse 51. The tempter came, is tempted to the to Christ. That's what he came to do, to tempt Christ. Read. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. See that? But by every word mm -hmm. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. See. Man do not supposed to live by anybody else's bread, by any bread. But the bread is coming out of the mouth of God. That understanding from them other people feeding those people understanding bread from their table. No, he said, eat the word, the bread of God. That's coming out of God's in, um, interpretation. That's what he's saying. Just don't go out there and get any understanding. Now. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 22 and what is that, 9? Yeah, go to that. And this, this might be a little too heavy for some people, but I have to tell you. Then uh, 22 and 9. I think that's it. Your diverse seeds? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't mix the doctrine. Deuteronomy 22 verse 9. Thou shalt not sow thy so thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds. Seeds, Luke chapter 8, verse 11 is God's seed, his spiritual interpretation. Don't mix it with that carnal. That tempter came to Christ, talking about mixing that um stones into bread, making another doctrine. He said, No, don't mix those up. Read. Lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Now all them people that talk carnally and mix it with the spiritual interpretation, God don't want it. It's rejected. Right. It's rejected. That's that law right there. And they don't know how to read it spiritually. Right. They don't know how to do it. But that's that's this right. much for about the song uh, see that's also in Matthews right yeah right. yeah mark 2 mark 4 mark 4 yeah it's uh Luke Luke 8 ain't it the sower sow the word yes yeah. Luke 8 when they when he say the uh the seed of the word yes no, no, mark 4 14 yeah mark 4 and Luke 8 mm -hmm. Luke, Luke, Luke the seed is the word of God yeah mm -hmm. Luke 8 yeah, yeah Luke yeah. 8 8 and 5 and uh 414. Well, Mark 414. Which one you want it? Uh, uh, this, this is a straight cut right here. 414 is straight cut. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. Mark because me and Elder went over this one day about mm -hmm. sowing the seeds. Um, mm -hmm. Me and Elder Samuel mm -hmm. he gave me the understanding on that. So I would just want to know if that's the same thing. Seem like the Bible is um talking about the same thing throughout the whole Bible. Right. Yeah. Oh, the whole, right. bro, the as, whole as, thing. As, as, as his prophet has said, they don't know that the whole Bible is talking about doctrines. Yeah, right. The whole yeah. Bible. I, I don't have I don't have that eloquent voice, but yeah, you sure don't. <laughs> Her sound a whole lot more. Much yeah, it's a whole lot better, your brother. Melodic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, she got, you pretty, but she'll 
<laughs> she a whole lot prettier than you. <laughs> That's right. All praise. <laughs> Matter of fact, her hair longer than yours. But what mm-hmm. you, what what you just proved, Conwall? <laughs> you proved that the 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 way that this thing is written is written in parable form. Yes. Okay. Man. It's written the things that he's saying as tokens, but they mean something else spiritually. These guys, what they trying to do, they trying to defend the kind of doctrine that they right. got, right? Because so it's what more they easier to, to explain, I think that carnal is more easier to explain and to be understood. Yeah, because they they speak in little simple. You can lie. Right. Yeah, you but lie but the thing it. is, this is this is the problem that they got. The most high don't care what right. they think no more. Whenever somebody as prominent as uh, Bishop Nathaniel, right? all of a sudden start getting corrected because no one's ever done that. If anybody ever came and said that he was incorrect, like they did over there at ISUPK, that man went and he got his boys to put together a video called Purple Rain. All right? Mm -hmm. And he destroyed them people just for saying his name. But fast forward a few years, and all of a sudden, he ain't coming saying nothing now. Because that man know what we saying is the truth. Because he wrote a precept packet. That means he understood that those precepts had a, a value spiritually. So now that thing coming back to haunt him. Mm-hmm. And he probably going to have some sleepless nights because we getting ready to you know, bring forth something else. Let me go ahead and... Hold on, we'll get there. Let's get another one. Sec- Before you go over, stay on that sower and seed, 2 okay. Corinthians 9 and 10. Before you get to this, to the slaughter. <laughs> All right. So I'll give him two precepts on it. Mm-hmm. What'd you say now, 2 Corinthians? 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. Remember, he said he was sowing the seed into what? The earth, right? Mm-hmm. See, the seed of God is what you're supposed to put in the carnal understanding. Yes. That's the earth. You see what I'm saying? It's all a metaphor, man. Yes. Right. Right. It's yeah. a metaphor. They acting like they they being conveniently ignorant. But they're going to find out. They're going to find out. Because this this is, it's about to turn. Christ is turning the table now. These these. Brother, these Gentiles about to get so bold, he about to turn the table. And they going out to those camps pretty soon. Mm-hmm. If they last. Because they, they coming. They these coming. men are what they call useful idiots. Okay? <laughs> this is the, that's the, that's the quintessential understanding of the word useful idiots. Again, that man is sanctioned. Because what he's doing to black people is not helpful to black people. All right. That means he's working to destroy black people to get them to believe something foolish. All right. As long as he got you doing this foolish stuff, he's helping to destroy his own community. Yes. All right. So what we're doing is. We're explaining to the people the truth so that his lie doesn't destroy you. Because anybody that tells you it's righteous to hate, he has to be your enemy. He's Yes. There's he's just no way around it. So that's that. I mean, that's what we have to do. We have to come through. We got to get the work done, you know, and we got to convince the people through the precepts, using the Bible, not a bunch of pictures and a no. bunch of history books and all that other stuff. We showing you <laughs> what the most high say it means. <laughs> right? Yes. So here we go. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse 10. Now he that ministereth seed. Stop. To- Stop. Read that again real slow. See this Anwar? Peep it. Yes, sir. Now he that ministereth Seed ministereth seed to right. minister is to what teach, teach. right? I ain't All talking right. about no man laying down and having a baby. No, I ain't talking about no corner seed. That's what he's telling you. It ain't mm-hmm. that corner seed of Abraham and 
corner seed of Isaac and the corner seed of Jacob. He ain't talking about that. These talking men about that. are liars and they've been lying for a long time. Now mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you know, they getting dusted up with the truth. Now he that ministereth, ministereth seed to the sower, what's the sower? So so the That's yes. a teacher. That's right. There you go, uh, Elder Tobias. <clears throat> Both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. The whole thing talking about teacher. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> oh, man. He's talking about some word, man. He guys word, man. brother. You know, again, and I know we we sound <laughs> like curmudgeons over here. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you get sick and tired, man, because you see people who supposed to be at a certain level, right? Yes, brother. These guys, they come before you and they present themselves as qualified to teach the word of God because the, the people look in the Bible, they might not know a lot, but they know it's going to be a man who's going to end up teaching them. Right? And so they looking for somebody to teach them and then they get caught in this trap. Right? And uh, the people can't see the lies of these men. Right? So at the end of the day, the people uh, get taken advantage of. Right. So our job. Thanks for that priest that failed you. No didn't problem. Even know that was in there. <laughs> yeah, that cleared <laughs> up a lot of things. Then yeah. I told you it was spooky. Yeah. <laughs> so it's our job to come and try and get these people some understanding, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go over here now, cause since we been teaching right especially those those subjects we taught in Genesis 25 <laughs> and in Malachi 1 you know we've lost quite a few friends <laughs> over those classes again the first thing come to somebody mind whenever you go and you spread the truth on a lie and they can't defend it. They're gonna call you a talk. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know, being that you won't validate the lie, right? All of a sudden, you the architect. Never mind the man teaching you a doctrine that's gonna destroy you. Mm -hmm. But it's popular, right. so everybody gonna turn against the person coming with the truth again. In in Revelation 22, verse 14 and 15. He started listing who ain't going to make it into the king. Mm -hmm. they sure do. He said liars mm -hmm. ain't going to make it. They ain't going to make and it. And murderers, we read earlier, he said, now murderers is just people who hate. And that's the key. For no reason. If you teaching carnally and the most high said teach spiritually, you lying. Yeah. You so, lying. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he called off liars. He called off murderers. He called off dogs. He called off a few more things. But guess what he left off? Uncle Tom. So that means the Uncle Tom that's, that told the truth mm -hmm. ends up getting the kingdom. Yes. But that liar it. and that hater mm -hmm. and that murderer, mm -hmm. all of y'all going to get exactly what y'all got coming. Yeah. And it's going to be unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Mind me while I'm over there sipping on that pomegranate wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But anywho, 
we gonna yeah. go and give y'all a first class education on who these liars and these haters and these murderers are because they mass murderers because they tearing the flesh the understanding of the people that they teach it. Now the most I say, go in the back and get me one that's in the box. Right. Yes. I want mine perfect. That's right. I don't want that one that's been sitting over there on the shelf. Mm-mm. I want my person who I'm going to give salvation to, I want his understanding to be perfect. And he wants you clothed with his doctor, his Correct. spirit interpretation doctor. Correct. So if you got on a corner doctor, you're going to have a problem. That's Especially correct. Especially if you hate your brother. Especially, you you got a big problem. The world is about to end. I don't know when. But all the signs showing 